Well, it was a unique time in our program. We graduated two uh, All-Americans and had a team that was used to being successful and, and a winning tradition, but um, we had to reinvent ourselves. And uh, we were first year in the Atlantic 10, um, which was a new experience and playing a lot of new competition. And we we didn't really have any idea how good we were, um, you know, going into conference play. We uh, qualified for the Atlantic 10 tournament, um, upset Dayton in the um, in the in the semifinal on a great performance by Whitney Sykes and uh, Megan Ogilvy, um, and then played Rhode Island in the final um, and. Uh, had another great performance by Oaks and uh, Ned Isham scored an amazing goal from the corner to put us separate us from them. Uh, we ended up winning three to one and uh, winning the conference championship and qualifying for the NCAs, which I don't think anybody really expected. So that was very exciting. And when the uh, celebration, the excitement, and the newness, all of that wore off, we uh, we realized that we had drawn um, uh, Clemson University. Uh, who was um, who had played in the ACC final and, and lost to the University of North Carolina um, on the same day that we won our championship, and so they had the top offensive player in the country in in, in D. Arrington, and uh, we were uh, I remember getting on the bus heading heading down to uh, Charlotte for the uh, for the first round against Clemson, and uh, I remember Jim saying, you know, how do you think you guys are going to do? And I said. We're going to find out. I we, really no idea, no preparation, but we know how good these guys are. Um, the games were um, played. Uh, there was a hurricane that had come up the coast, and uh, the entire East Coast was just drenched all weekend. And uh, we managed to get our games in at, at uh, in Charlotte, and uh, we played a, just a tremendous game. Ann Riser. Um, Defended D. Arrington and played her off the field. Um, she actually asked out of the game at one point and said, "Really, don't want to play anymore. Don't want to play against this kid." So, uh, Ann did a terrific job, and and uh, uh, Jess, uh, Jessica Marino scored the game-winning goal um, to propel us into the uh, the round of 32. We played uh, James Madison on Sunday, and um, beautiful eight-pass sequence uh, created by uh, Etta Garter's daughter, our, our All-American. Um, set up Annette Isham in the middle of the field for a goal I remember like it was yesterday. And she bent it around the Madison keeper in the upper corner and uh, put us into the round of 16. Uh, tremendous, tremendous feeling. Everybody's covered with mud and crying and hugging, and it was, it was really awesome. Um, so we had a week to prepare. Um, we went out to Portland and played uh, the number one team in the country, University of Portland. Uh, they had Christine Sinclair. Uh, who's the first-team All-American, still playing on Canada's national team, and, and uh, Lindsey Huey, uh, who's another first-team All-American, and they were they were the best team in the country. Um, we gave them a great battle in front of a big crowd, uh, but they were just so much better, and uh, it was it was the end of our run. But it was it was really a terrific team accomplishment, and I think really elevated the status of our program and, and the consciousness of uh, Division One women's soccer. Uh, I think the story of that team was really um, after the graduations of Brooke Sands and, and uh, Jacqueline Ravia, who are two of the you know the greatest players uh, that have ever played here. I think the expectations from the outside were you know we're going to take a little bit of a dip, but I think the neat thing was that the kids really believed they didn't feel that way. They really believed they could do anything, and that they weren't afraid of anybody. And they took the field and said, "Let's go." And, and uh, we had some really tough kids, um, Ann Reiser and, and, and JJ, and, and uh, both our goalkeepers, and th we just fought and fought and fought and never backed down, and, and uh, you know never gave up and found ways to win, and uh, it, it was it was really something that um, I think everybody will always remember and be very proud of.